Okay, this one covers some of the simple error codes that you'll find on Carrier, uh, Payne, and Bryant furnaces. These are later model furnaces, uh, probably around 2000 and forward of that. I'm not going to give model numbers because there's way too many of them to give. Uh, but these are the simple error codes that you would find uh, on these furnaces. Okay, here's a look at the inside of the furnace cover. This covers the entire furnace. Right here is your LED code key. So you pull that cover off, you can look at those keys, uh, and it'll tell you uh, where to look for if, there, if there's a problem. Once you got the cover off, you've got these windows. This window on the left is going to show you the blinking code. Now there's two lights in there. Okay, pull the cover off so we can get a little better view of these lights. There's actually a total of four lights in there. For this video, I'm going to just do simple uh, blinking codes on this. This actually has very complex codes for many things because it's a very complex furnace. But I'll do the simple ones in this video and I'll have another video that gives more of the complex ones. Okay, that's your indication of first stage heat everything normal the light just stays on second stage heat the yellow light goes on that's that one right up there okay this code is for high limit it's a 33 there's three flashes with each of the two lights it means a limit switch is open uh, plug filter plug blower wheel duct problem or possibly a rollout switch open from the flame rolling out the front. So that's a high temp limit uh, code. Okay, this code we're reading here is an ignition uh, ignition failure code. It means the burner did not light for whatever reason. Could be the gas off. Could be uh, flame rod not sensing. Uh, could be hot surface igniter uh, not working but for whatever reason it did not sense flame that's a 34 code and it's going to try three times and then we'll see what code it goes to when it goes into hard lockout right now it's in hard or it's in soft lockout and it's retrying to see if it can ignite the furnace. Okay, now this code here is a 14 code. And what that means is it's gone into hard lockout. It could not light the burner. So this is a gas issue. There's either gas not getting there or it's not being sensed. All right, this fault here is a pressure switch problem fault. Now, if the pressure switch doesn't close within a few seconds of the inducer coming on, you're going to get this code. Or if the pressure switch is stuck closed, you'll get this code. This is one of the most common codes we have, and it's usually not a pressure switch problem. It's usually a venting problem, sagging vent, water in the vent, plugged vent, blockages, or condensate blockages uh, where your condensate drain is plugged those are all things that can cause this uh, the pressure switch could be the problem but it probably isn't so that's pressure switch problem those are all the simple codes that you'll see on this furnace uh, it's a fairly long family of furnaces and they usually use pretty much the same codes uh, for Carrier, Payne, and Bryant. Uh, I will get into more complex codes in another video on this one, uh, but that's it for the simple ones.